Alrighty, so hi you guys, and uh, today we will be doing a new video. But first, we will get to the eye look of the day in which I used the ColourPop Fortune Palette. So this actually has a palette that is like supposed to go along with this, and it's the Fame Palette. It's more cool toned, and like that's just, I really like warm tones. I've talked about this, so it's just something that didn't really speak to me, but yeah, um... It looks like this on the inside and it's just quite stunning. I really like, this was my go-to palette last summer. This and the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I just honestly just need to get back into it. It's actually so beautiful. I've just rediscovered, I feel like so many colors. So yeah, this is the look. And I actually today also used the Lucid Jungle um, highlighter, which I talked about in my recent April purchases and it actually like really turned out to not be as dark as I thought it was going to be so and maybe it's just because like my makeup's a little bit darker today but I think overall though I'm pretty impressed with it so like I mentioned before um today we will be doing a declutter uh this will begin the this will begin my declutter series and today we will do, be doing mascaras, eyeliners, eyeshadow primers, and single eyeshadows. Um, so I am just going to, I think, bring everything out and then we will go through each and every one of those things. All right, so this is where I keep all of my mascaras and everything. So I'm just going to actually dump them out. Right here, so I'm just going to keep all of them still. And anything that I am decluttering, I'm just going to put in a little basket that's off to the side. Um, and I'll put everything back in these little tins, and I'll just wipe out the tin. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe out the tin really quick. And then we will get started. All right. So, the first mascara that I have is this L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Um, and it's very similar to, like I've said in the past, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, I will be keeping this one. I have used it recently. I really do like it. Um, oops, this is in a different part of the declutter. Uh, this is the Ico um, Lengthening Skinny Mascara Brush. This used to be my go-to for years. But I recently purchased it this summer, and I actually haven't opened it since then. There's something on it, so I'm going to clean it, but I will actually be keeping this one. Um, there is my go-to currently, which is the oh, Physician's Formula Organic Wear Mascara. This is fantastic. I really like this, and so I will be keeping this. This is the Damn Girl um, by Benefit Mascara. I will be keeping this as well. This is um, the Nourishing Mascara from, I believe that says, Beautington. This I'm actually going to just declutter. I've never used it. It's just something that I don't find... I will ever get to use, so I might as well give it to a better home before any of it runs out. So I will be getting rid of this. Um, the next thing will be the Ciate London Wonder Wand. I will be keeping this. I think this is a great product, and so, yeah. Uh, my other current two favorites, this Ico Lash Alert Mascara, will be keeping... I will be keeping this Dose um, Punk Voluminizer Mascara, and they're just a great brand. They've done so much, and like just liking my pictures on Instagram and commenting on them, so I just really support it. Now, this is actually a brow product, but I didn't, I forgot to include this in a part. So this is the Brow Wiz by Anastasia. Um, I have it in the shade Chocolate. I will be keeping this. This is my current go-to brow pencil. This is a eyeliner by Alme. Yep, they're Alme. Um, it's just in the shade black. I'm almost done with this. Um, I've been getting into eyeliner more since I've 
done that declutter, or not the declutter, um, the April purchases. Or no, it was the video about um, drugstore makeup. So I've been getting into this a lot more since then. So I will be keeping this. I will be keeping this Wander Beauty um, Mile High Volume and Length Mascara as well. A lot of these I actually haven't opened quite yet, but I am looking forward to it. I will be keeping this The Real by Benefit Mascara. Now, I know I've talked about how certain products aren't cruelty-free. I've also realized that I said that this Damn Girl Mascara is by Benefit, but it's actually by Too Faced. But like I was saying, that a lot of cruelty-free makeup, I only wear that. And so I just think that this is something that... Like, I want to get through, and then I just won't repurchase. Now, this is the Superhero by It Cosmetics. Um, it looks like this. I've never used it. I honestly think I'm just going to declutter this. I just don't see myself using it. And so, yeah. Now, on to the next portion. So now this is where I keep all of my single shadows, um, eyeliners, eye primers just in this little bin. So I'm going to go ahead and dump that out so we can get started. Alrighty, so the first thing I see we have here is this ColourPop Single Shadow. It is in the shade Tea Party. I actually recently purchased this, and let me open it. The shade is very pretty. It looks like this. I've swatched it, I believe, once, and I do think, actually, I will be getting rid of this. I just remember when I swatched it, it was stunning, but it kind of was just all glitter there really was like it was really just all glitter there really was no shade to it and like even this is just it kind of on my finger there was just all glitter so I think that actually will be one thing that I will be getting rid of um and I did forget to wipe down the bin before I put anything back in there so I'm just going to do that currently really quickly and we're good so the next thing I have right here is this ColourPop shadow, and it is in the shade Ratio. Now, I do love this shade. Let me open it for you guys. It looks like this. It's just so stunning. It does have very good pigment, and so I think this is one that I will be keeping. I'm just going to go for my ColourPop ones first, seeing they fit in this case so perfectly. This is from the same collection, um, ColourPop. It's in the sh uh, shade socialize and it looks like this i have used this it is quite stunning and so i will keep this these are all fairly new so i do know that none of them have quite expired yet because these do dry out quickly the next shade is this color pop which is in the shade bubbly and it looks like this which is quite pretty, I believe, and so I will be keeping this one. I do remember, I think, recently using this, and this one's very creamy, very pigmented, and so I do quite like it. Um, The next ColourPop shade I have is this one right here, which is the shade Banana Daiquiri, and it looks like this. I don't have any blues quite like this that are um, single shadows and creamy, so I will be keeping this one. The next one I have right here is also from that Butterfly Collection, and it is in the shade Ripple. Um, Leora just was talking about this shade, and she is right. It is stunning, gorgeous, and I love this shade. This has to be one of my favorite Um Shades by ColourPop right behind Bubbly or even above Bubbly. These are those are two of my tops. Um, 
any other color pop oh here's another one um there is this color pop and it is in the shade twitter painted now this is one that i usually have a double of i gave it to my sister and it looks like this this is one of my go-to it was one of my first color pops it's beautiful gorgeous and i love it it's a great like just all over shine shade to um just brighten up the eyes and then i have this shade which is set to stun which looks like this and i've used this quite a bit it's more of like a richer shade but it's beautiful has great pigment i do love to use this one and so i will be keeping it and then I believe the final ColourPop shade that I have here is this one. Um, and it is the shade Coconut. And I actually just, it looks like this. And I just actually don't see myself using this shade very much. And so I think I am going to get rid of it. But it is quite beautiful. It's just something that I personally don't see myself using. So I will be getting this rid of this color pop shade as well. Um, some other single shadows I have are this one by INM. Um, and it's in the shade Super Base. And it looks like this. Oh, let it focus. Okay, there. Um, I will swatch the shade just on my finger. It's just very shimmery, um, light pink, but it's gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of Ripple a little bit, but it's got more of a pink tint. So I will be keeping that as well. Um, another one I have is this one by Space Case. And it is in the shade Alien Love Child. It looks like this. Um, it's very purple, very pretty. And I do believe I will be keeping this one. It's more iridescent and um, pastel, but it is so beautiful. Now, there's this one by Ella Eden, and it is in the shade Harmony. And this is gorgeous as well. It looks like this. And I have used this quite a lot, actually, recently. It provides great pigment. It's beautiful, stunning. And so that's one that I will be keeping for now. Um, okay, I have two more. Oh, well, I have three more single shadows. So I actually have this one by Pixie by Petra. It's one of their fairy lights um, in the shade. Let it focus. Hang on. rose gold there it is and so it just it is beautiful it's just too shimmery for me and so i will be letting this one go i think i've only used it once so someone else will be able to use this um the other single shadow that i have is this one by nomad it is in the shade stockholm and it looks like this it's quite deep, quite rich, but I actually do love it, so I will be keeping this one. Um, and then finally, I have this. Oh, I have two more, actually. I have this one by Suave Beauty, um, and I actually will be letting this one go. It's in the shade Empire State, and it looks like this. It's pretty, but it's more just shimmery. It's, like, good for an inner corner, but I have, like pretty much an inner corner highlight in every single one of my palettes and so it's just something that I just don't see myself reaching for anymore so I will be letting this one go I'm so sorry about my nails by the way clearly I haven't been able to get them done due to this pandemic then I have this one by City Limits I'm not even going to take it out of the box you guys saw this one in my Ipsy versus um Birch box, and it just did not work for me so I will be letting this one go um now fair warning actually i'll do eyeshadow primers before this i got this pure get a grip endurance eyeshadow primer it's like a sample size i'm just never going to use it so i will be passing this one along i got this 
Morphe um, eyeshadow primer. They were like giving this away for free with certain purchases. I will be keeping this. So I will be keeping that product. Um, this is actually a lash glue. Um, it's like my only one. It's by Salon Perfect Get a Grip. And so I will be keeping this one. I have this Kat Von D. Um, it's a color correcting eyeshadow primer. I just really don't like it. And it kind of just like looks like this. It's like a peachier one. I've used it. I don't even, I maybe have used it once to swatch. So I think I'm just going to let this one go. Clearly like Kat Von D doesn't even really exist anymore. It's like KVB now, I think. And so, um, like Cat Vegan Beauty or something like that. And so I will be letting this go. Now, fair warning, I did already give away two eyeliners to my sister. So if you're a number person, I will include that at the end um, in the amount that I decluttered. But I gave her, I gave them to her like two days ago just because she ran out of hers and wanted a new one. So this is from Lord & Barry. It's actually a green eyeliner. I used it once this year. It looks like this. I actually love it. So I will be keeping this one. I'm not a big eyeliner person like I've mentioned. So um, this Ico one, the Skinny Liquid Black one, it's precise, smudge proof, and pitch black. I'm going to be actually letting this one go because I will show you I have another one that's just different. So I will be letting this one go as well. Um, I have this Tarte. Um, it's the Sex Kitten eyeliner. I actually really want to try this. I got this in a, um, like an Ipsy bag, I want to say. And so I will be keeping this one. Um, this Pretty Vulgar uh, eyeliner. I will be keeping this one. I just recently got it. You guys probably saw it in a recent um, monthly purchases. Here, I'll show you. It just looks like um, this, and it's just pitch black, and it's very pretty, so I will be keeping this one because I feel like once I'm done with that Alme one, I will want to use it. Now, this is the Ico one that I want to keep. Um... And this one, oh, let me hold it this way. This one is the I Do Liquid Eyeliner. Um, and so I really want to keep this one. It's really pretty. And so, sorry, I was not in focus. This is the Ico I Do Liquid Eyeliner. It's really pretty. The um, I've used it once. The tip is very, like, precise. And so I really want to keep this one, actually. And then finally, this is the Illamas Liquid Eyeliner. Um, I have used this one. I've been really liking some of the Illamas products. The like liner looks like this. It's very gorgeous and it has not dried out. So I will be keeping this one. Now my final product is actually this Milk Makeup. Um, it's the Star Dots. I really liked like when I think it was... Um, Laura Lee, she was talking about this. She continues to talk about it all the time. I bought it. I had never taken it out of the container and that was almost a year ago. And I'm thinking if I haven't used it now, when am I going to use it? I thought I was going to use it maybe with an upcoming um concert I was supposed to go to, but it's looking like that's not going to happen anymore. So I think I will be letting this one go. I think I really go. Mm. I like really like the concept behind it. I think the star's so cute. I actually might hold on for this to this, and it might be in my next month if I actually don't end up going to that concert. So I will be hanging on to this. And so yeah, that is that bin. All right, you guys. So that was this um first declutter. I actually ended up getting rid of one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve with the ones that my sister already took. And twelve products, like that's pretty good, I would honestly say. I didn't like this is not a big category for me in my um collection. And so I'm actually pretty impressed with this. And I'm happy, and so I will actually 
be now putting these on my Poshmark and my Mercari, which I um, will have linked down below. And I will see you guys in the next part of this declutter. All right. So bye.